know light reflects off stuff. <clears throat> and the only reason you can see colors and shapes is because of light. But if there's too much light, you can't see anything. So there has to be a little bit of darkness so it's not just all light. The darkness is there so that you can see the shapes and the colors of things. <clears throat> So darkness was a good thing to be given. God says that we're made in His image. And the way that you show that image, like when God looks at you, you're supposed to reflect Him back. When God's looking at you, He's telling you things. So, Telling you something, right? Can you figure out what I'm telling you? Can you, can you hear me? No, <coughs> it doesn't work exactly like that. But that's kind of the principle. When God looks at you, He's shining information about Himself. And what you're supposed to do, whenever He shines information on you, you're supposed to be like a mirror. And it's supposed to, if this was me and God was shining information on me, I'm supposed to reflect it over there to Brandon, and then over to Melanie, and then reflect it over to Margie. And sometimes, if, if I was pretending to be God with the light and the mirror's me, I'm just supposed to shine it right back at God. But all the time I'm supposed to be reflecting it. I'm not supposed to keep it. Whatever he tells me, I'm not supposed to just keep it. He wants us to bounce it off of somebody else. Now that there's everybody feeding and eating. So now I can get them all stirred up again. Because <coughs> we have to go into a dark room. No, I don't know what that just said. So, we're going to learn what light I've got three different pieces of paper here and, and a mirror. And you have to tell me which one reflects the most light, makes it the brightest. The mirror. <laughs> the mirror. Yep. The it will probably, but let's look at the difference. When I shine on this, you look how the pillow looks over there behind you. Over here. Whoa. Whoa. So kind of think about how bright that is. And then yeah. take yeah. this one. That's well, not quite as bright as that one. And then I take this one. That's the brightest. And I take this one. That's the brightest. But you notice the difference? When this one's the brightest. But when this one bounces off, what's it, how does it look? A circle. A circle. Looks more like the These flashlight. Are in a, huh? These are in a big beam. Yep. See, this These looks, are like a big beam. This looks more like the flashlight. Here. When I put it on this, it's a big. Could you tell I was even using a flashlight? You wouldn't know no. if it was a round flashlight or a square flashlight. It's or like a triangle. Flashlight. It's like a flash light that covers the room. Yeah, just washes out. <clears throat> but this one, you can actually see the shape. Mm -hmm. Well, that's supposed to let you figure out. See, this is a black piece of paper. You know why it's dimmest? I'm black. Oh, because it's black and dark. It's the no. darkest. It's because it's soaking the light up. Yeah. It's keeping it. It actually soaks it up. This it one's it. red. Yeah, and it's not quite soaking as much up, but it's still soaking it up. This one's not soaking it up, but it's not showing you what where the light's really coming from. This one is the only one that shows you what it's coming from and what it looks like. Now, we'll go back in there and I'll tell you what each piece of paper actually is as far as a person. So, now you have to tell me which one of these are what. These are kinds of people. These papers and this mirror is like a kind of a person. And the flashlight was pretending them to be God, shining on these kinds of people. So, what kind of a person was this with God's light shining on? It was the darkest. It didn't make as much light. So, if you, I'll name the kinds of people. You got 
one person, when God shines on them, they take what God shines on them and shines it back at people just like God told them. Exactly the same. Then you got some people that shine it back, but they change it a little bit, keep a little bit. And you got another person that just tries to soak it all up and keep it to himself. Because he wants to be the only one that's then you got another one that soaks most of it up, but every now and then he says a little bit just to let you know he knows something. So, is this the one that just keeps everything to himself? Or is this, oh, you're fast. So this guy, God tells him things, he learns things, he just wants to be able to tell anybody else. Tell about it. Um, this one. Is it the one that keeps he everything to himself? No, he gives everything to us. He gives everything to other people and keeps a little bit to himself. Yep. That's right. So it's not quite exactly the way it's given. It's close. This one is. He keeps half of it to himself and half of it to everyone else. That's what you're saying. What's this one? Whenever we put the light on this one, you can actually tell that it's coming from something around. It kind of had the exact same image with the flashlight. It's different because it's backing off, but it looks the same. And you can <coughs> what do these look like when we shine the light on them? Were they round or what happened? You couldn't really tell what the shape is coming from. It just bounced off. Which would you think we should be when God tells us something? Yep. White piece would be second best, which is probably where we are a lot of the time because we don't pay enough attention to know how to say it exactly the same way as God told us. You can. for self-gratification or blow it out of proportion and change it to make it something else that just isn't good enough. We lose that over 